Let me get straight to the point, yeah? What's going on, people? Obviously, it's me, Hamza. With lockdown and everything, this episode's gonna be very different, but very special at the same time because the fans have been asking for a very long time now. I've seen the comments. You guys want a special episode and we are finally, <laughs> it took a while, but we finally did it. And uh, today we are gonna have uh, an episode with the whole entire Diary of a Bad Man crew. Uh, and I can't wait, man. Especially me. Um, Jake, who, yeah, who, who told you about this? Austin said you needed some help with your uh, website history. Oh, what? Did you want to delete something? Uh, can, can, yes, we were recording. We were recording. We don't have to talk about my web, um, web history. Um, JP, could you, you give going me... On the, going, on, going on those like, dirty ones, right? Uh, uh, yeah. My mum watches this. My mum watches this. Yeah? Okay, cool. Um, JP, could you do me a favour? Could you just like disappear for two hours? Because yeah. I want to do something with my friends. I thought I was your friend. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, yeah, oh yeah, stay then. Stay. Yeah, of course you're my friend. So it's, it's recording and I don't want people to think I'm a dick. Cool. Um, yeah, stay. Stay. Alright, cool. But now, uh, JP, we're not filming. What's going on, man? <laughs> well, that was a long time doing that. I ain't done that for a long time, bro. I know, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, man. Uh, apart from the fact that you've obviously pissed off to Canada and, and deserted all your friends and family. Um, yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> it's not, it's not, not that bad, man. Uh, how long has it been? It's been like uh, two years now? Two, three years? I'm done? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, it's more uh, than it's that, hot. man. Yeah. It's, it's bad. Uh, it's nice over here, though. I don't know. I so, like it. So what's the time in Canada right now? It is 1.21 p.m. So you guys are like, what, 9 o'clock? Yeah, like that? it's 9.21. 9.20? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the messed up thing about the, the fact that I went to Canada is the fact that we're like an eight-hour difference. That's, yeah. the, that's the craziest thing. So the fact that we're doing this, yeah. it's nice. It's going to be a good catch-up. Well, JP, thanks for joining us. Um, And yeah, I can't wait to... I can't wait to do this. I'm so gassed because these are my friends. They're not just the Dyro Badman crew. These are actually like my boys for life. Um, so first of all, I want to introduce Asif, Umar, Yogi and Fayaz. Guys, what is going on? Thank you guys. Thank you. You lot are always busy, man. So thank you so much for being a part of this. Um, yeah, long overdue. Um, obviously, Corona lockdown, we had to do something, you know, a bit different. We thought we would do it on Zoom, uh, but it would have been nice to to have you all in the studio. But we're, we're going to do something soon. Uh, we we have a few plans, so don't worry. But um, let's just start off uh, talking about how we we all met. Um, so Asif, how did we first meet? I actually think that it was Umar who introduced us, isn't it? Yeah, it was. I mean, it was about 17, 18 years ago and um, I was chilling with Umar one day. Not a lot of people know this, but me and Umar are actually related. Mm. He's actually my cousin, blood cousin, not like those random people that, you know, you're your cousins. He's actually my cousin, obviously. I'm the good lucky one. I'm the good lucky one. <laughs> um, we were chilling one day and uh, he, um, he goes to me, oh, let's go to my boy Hamza's house. And I was like, okay, um, I don't know him. But he was like, yeah, no, Umar, I'll introduce you. So he parked up outside your house and he goes, I think you two could really hit it off. I was like, is this a blind date or something? What's, what's, what's going on here? He goes, no, no, not like that, man. Not like that. It's like, you know, you two live near each other. You're going to have a lot in common, blah, blah, blah. I was like, this is a date. You know, yeah. without a doubt, this is going to be a date. Omar, did anyway, you want us to lips or something? What were you trying to do, man? I was trying to get a more bigger dinner table. So whatever we got, the more people, the more merry, the more food. <laughs> Bro, all, all I know is you are living under a cave. I don't know what kind of connection you have, Umar. Like, but literally, like, Tesco internet is not working out for you, bro. You need to update it, man. Literally, I can't, I don't even know what you're saying. Ah, oh, okay. Big up, Virgin. It might not be a virgin right now. <laughs> what? What did he say? <laughs> Umar is the scriptwriter, by the way, for the episodes, because his jokes bang, man. Mashallah, man. Mashallah. <laughs> but to finish it, that's yeah. how we met, and he was right. We did hit it off because we're still friends today. So uh, that's uh, that's the story. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I met Asif. I knew Umar. Oh, that's, that's Umar's little one, by the way. Hey, hey hello. Hey. She don't give a shit about us, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> there, was, there was no love or emotion in those eyes. She was just. Ah, <laughs> oh, bless her. Uh, but yeah, Asif and Umar, I met before Dire of a Badman. Obviously, Fayaz, uh, that we, we've known each other 
what since since I was like three years old, isn't it? Last week, I would say at least last week. I think, <laughs> I think last week I met you, kind of hit off. Yeah, obviously yeah. not the same kind of level as you and Arsif, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that it was that deep, that relationship, man. And you never told me it was a date. Yeah, well, I just found out now, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. No wonder Arsenal was sitting I on my lap. It makes sense it now. Well. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I hope for your sakes it went well, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've known you for about the same time I've known my parents. Yeah, to be pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be honest, you know. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure you were there at the birth. Like, I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure you were there. Yeah, yeah I think I was. I, I think I was. Why. If we were just to have uh, a meeting about, uh, a Zoom meeting about our stories, I yeah. think ours would last about 10 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we, we, we go it way would. back, man, definitely. And uh, yeah, no, I appreciate all of you being here today. And obviously, uh, uh, last and least, uh, JP, we actually met, um, I think it was a, a music video shoot. Like right at the start yeah, of yeah. my career, um, yeah, it was it was that, wasn't it? It was an Edgeware Road. We had, we were... It was about it was about ten years ago. Yeah, I had started doing YouTube, and you had already kind of been making videos, which was Chronicle of Tattoo. Yeah, right. Yeah, classic. Hi, my name is Tattoo. And uh, I started making YouTube videos, and then I messaged you on YouTube where you could actually message people on YouTube, and people wouldn't like you know blank you or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, bro, I like your videos, and you you said that you watched mine, even though I know you were lying. Yeah, I was lying. Uh, was but like uh, you said that you know what, we could that if we'd uh, work with each other one day. I was like, yeah, that sounds cool. But then a mutual friend of ours, because when you were popping up, I think you must have done like I think it must have been on Diary Bad Man Two. Yeah. And you like you obviously just like popped off like crazy, and he's like, "Oh, bro, I've got this uh, this funny guy called Hamza. You should watch his videos. I'm I'm gonna have him a music video." I'm like, "All right, cool, we'll go over there. <laughs> I don't know who this like guy is or whatever." Yeah. So I'd message you after that, right? And um, yeah, we met at the music video. He got you there, and um, I remember you coming in. It was like, "Oh, at least I know someone." Yeah, yeah, Mr. Kara. So that was that was cool. That was ten years ago, though. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Yeah, and it's quite funny as well because. Uh, a lot of you were saying that a lot of people were messaging you afterwards saying uh, obviously when you started obviously uh, being a part of my videos everyone was messaging you saying why are you copying Hamza but you weren't copying me you were just brown and a YouTuber and in, in fact I think you started before me before the Chronicles of Dudley so yeah <laughs> I started before you yeah. in, in roughly 2010 like February and then you just you started just a little bit after maybe just a few months after and yeah I think I started when no, I think I started in 2009, so I think maybe I did, really? maybe, yeah, maybe you were copying me. Yeah, 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 it makes sense now. <laughs> but, yeah, and, and, but, and, but I think I think, I think it was the fact that you, like, popped off hardcore, like, when Dire Badman came out. Not many people knew about Chronicles of Tattoo. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I, don't, I didn't know about it. I had to go back and watch that stuff. Yeah, no, the thing is, the Chronicles of Tattoo was literally made for no one. Um... I literally just made it for myself. Even when I put it out, I didn't care if it had like one or two views. I, I literally made it um, purely for the fact that I wanted to know how to film, how to direct, how to edit like on my computer. So, you know, everything was new to me. And I just, I don't even know why I put it out. Uh, but after I did Chronicles of Dadu, I was like, okay, I, I can do this. This is YouTube, the platform where I can put my videos on. It's working, I see that. Now, let me make something that people are going to really enjoy. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's where Diary of Batman came, uh, how, came from. How you make something like, oh, and oh, no, wait, didn't you say that when you made Diary of Batman, you weren't even going to put it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I did was I literally had a few videos that I made, but I just left in my computer on my computer. Um, and a lot of you guys as well, especially you try to like go through my like videos and and see like what kind of like porn videos I'm watching at the same time. <laughs> and 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 when you would come across some of you even I think some of you even here came across them and saw it before it even released. Um, and you guys and and my other friends were always saying like well, release it like this is actually sick. I didn't think it was that good. I was like oh it's, it's all right. Just it's just I'm just messing about. Uh, and then finally I listened to you guys. Um, and, and obviously my other friends who, who were saying the same thing and uh, yeah, lo and behold everything changed and also, uh, obviously not to mention Yogi it's quite funny because you actually know like uh, my one of my favourite cousins of all time for him yeah. and that's how we kind of met, isn't it? Yeah, that's how we met, yeah so we were, um, well, I'm just going to say we were at a lounge and yeah. then uh, basically Fahim was there and yeah, was me, you and Fahim yeah. And my then cousin, before you way. know it, I then it was such a laugh that whole evening. Yeah. 
before you know it, then the next day we're playing football. That's all I remember. <laughs> that's all I remember. Then from there on, we just it just built. Yeah, yeah that's how I remember. That's Eric crazy, Pink, yeah. man. Yeah, and uh, football on the same night. <laughs> no, no, what? the next day I think it was. <laughs> the next day, I was yeah, gonna yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. That would have been weird. Well, I was the last to join the group then. I was the last to join the group then. No, you were there before yeah. me. I met all of you together on a uh, a New Year's Eve. That's where I met everyone, and you were already there. We may have spoken, but I had never met anyone. No, I... I, I the last to join and the first to leave. Let's leave it at that. Very <laughs> <laughs> good. But yeah, no. Um, <laughs> you're going to leave soon as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're a traitor as well. So. Um, but yeah. no, like, obviously, I think, I think, Umar, um, you actually are... The the real OG because you were in Diary of a Bad Man too, so you were like literally the first one out of everyone to to be a part of the videos. Like out of all the like the scenes and and all the shoots that we've had, what would you say is your favorite? Favorite scene? Yeah, of all time. When I ran into the puddle. I was talking about this uh, today with Asif actually, because what happened was I think That's Asif it. was there and we were in the park and we literally thought, oh, you know what? Um, yeah, we're just going to do this scene and then we're going to move on to the next and then and then we saw a puddle and then we saw you and then we were like, hey Omar, we got a great idea. Why didn't you just jump in the puddle? And you were like, shut the fuck up for something. Yeah. Um, and we literally had to convince you to um, jump into this dirty, disgusting puddle and you actually did it. I, I was actually surprised. Uh, yeah. Right sounds like every day. Yeah, sounds like every day. <laughs> but but I do rate you, Umar, because you know what it is. Like at first you'd be like, ah, oh, nah, I'm not sure. Um, but you would always do it in the end. Like whatever, like all the scenes, the the, the dumb scenes that we've done, you've always kind of like uh, just said, yeah, I don't care really. Do you know what I mean? You just didn't take Commitment. it too seriously. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah. What Umar, about um, just word of advice? Yeah, don't ever admit that in court. If you ever get turned up in court, don't be like. Don't ever admit that you just do it because of peer pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a good look for you, brother. And food. <laughs> yeah, and food. And Fayaz, like, no, I, th no, I, no I think... No I think, um... <laughs> our first ever scene... I, I don't know, was it Diary of Bad Man 4? I think. Yeah, I, I, so I think it was Diary of 2. Um, um, the girls in the park. No, that's... Yeah, that's your scene, but for Fayaz, I think, because I remember it was the scene oh, where... Fayaz, yeah. yeah, we were in the... I think on the dentist chair. Um, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, and, yeah, and then yeah, afterwards, yeah. I think um, if you like me, oh seven nine me. If you like me, oh seven nine me. If you like me, oh seven nine me. Uh, that that scene, that was, the classic. that was one of the classic ones, isn't it? Yeah, 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 that yeah. one and the other one with the um, bribe your people five girls pounds. in here. When, he, when, the, when the dentist got a bribe for five pounds. No, that that was the second season. That was the that second was season. season. Yeah, yeah, we went back. Yeah, oh. yeah. That was uh, I think it was. I can't even remember which episode, but it was the second oh, yes, season. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's been so many. So, Fayaz, for you, obviously, you've done things here and there, and because you were my best mate, like you always said to me, "Look, I'm not an actor, but if you ever need me, I'm there." And 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 that's what I respected about you. Like you just, you don't care, man. You're like obviously, you're like my brother anyway. So you're always willing to help. But with all the scenes that you have done and all the, you know. The experiences that you had on set, what would you say is uh, your favorite? Well, I mean, I, I resent the fact that you think I'm not an actor. That's the first thing. <laughs> you said that, <laughs> bro. You, you always said that. I'm not an actor. <laughs> That's you. Obviously. You know what I mean? You know, this is not this is not doing good for my Hollywood thing at the end. You know, this is I'm just yeah. a dentist for now. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make it mainstream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah, just yeah. how it works. But um, yeah, I think you know what? I think for me, it'll always be that first scene. You know, because yeah. it's like it was. It was a little bit of pressure, like you gave me lines. I was like, nah, I can't <laughs> speak. Like, this is mad. I don't remember this stuff. Like, I can remember five years of dentistry at uni. But you gave me like four lines, and I'm like, nah, yeah. this is hard, man. This is hard. <laughs> it is, it uh, is. Your lines were, watch this, and then you go to the girls and you just show your phone. No, Those were your lines. Anyone is saying nothing? Watch this. I, I, I think as well, like, just bringing Asif back as well. You, your first line, bro, I remember in the first scene that you were a part of, you messed up like straight away. Do you remember yeah. the, the burger one? I, I did that on purpose because no, you I didn't. wanted to make the blooper real. So um, <laughs> I remember that line. It was, um, 
It was when we pinned up Umar against the wall after we chased him for his burger. Not yeah. for his burger, but we chased him. And the line was supposed to be... You think you can get away from us? Murta kutta. And I said, do you think you could get away with us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my first ever line. And I remember your response. Your face, first of all, it dropped. You were like... Yeah. And then... Literally at that point, I was thinking, this guy is like... I enjoyed the first date, but this guy really can't act. I remember that's <laughs> that's the first thing that I thought. And I literally, I think for a few episodes, I was like, this guy is so shit at acting, but he's my friend. But then you just got better and better, to be fair, so it was all right. He's the first one to laugh, First one to laugh, Asif. Yeah. That's what I remember. Asif laughs a lot, yeah. Always. No, but now he's yeah, good at keeping a straight face now. Yeah, he starts the, the chain reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am... I, um... I'm the one that's e that, that that will laugh first in everything. So if there were if there was ever a game where we had to keep a straight face, You'd lose. I would lose. So if you guys ever want to make money from me, yeah, get me to keep a straight face because I'm going to lose. Yeah, sick. Yeah, you can't do it right now. <laughs> no, but the line <laughs> thing was was really hard. Like even though I had been doing YouTube as well, when you started giving us lines, cool a few words. Was easy, right? But when you started giving us full fucking, when you started hey. giving us full, par oh, I slipped, I slipped, I slipped. when you started <laughs> giving us full paragraphs, yeah. a full sentence, that was hard, man. The amount of takes we had to keep on doing and doing and doing, and you used to get pissed off at us when we used to mess up so much. I know because the thing is, like a lot of people don't know this, but I want perfection. Do you know what I mean? And I and I got, hey, I gave wicked direction as well. And sometimes you lot just wasn't like, uh, but I think Umar is fine. Like Umar. Uh, Umar never gets it wrong, innit, Umar? You've never yeah. ever like you just get the line so quickly. No, I, I was the worst. Yeah, I you are. The worst. <laughs> You're the worst, bro. I was the worst. Every time he I does a scene, I'm like, Umar, you smoking Every weed or something? How many takes with you one time? Twenty takes. I no, twenty one takes, and that was in the last bad man. I'm actually at a job interview right now. Oh really? How's that going? So JP, what was the first episode that you were in? Was it? Episode five or six? It was six, wasn't nah, it? Six, six. Yeah. It was something like uh, you had just you had just lost a character in your in Diary Bad Man. Yeah. And you needed a new person. Yeah. And that's where you contacted me. It was like, oh, bro, I need you for like a little part. You know, I'll come to your house and we'll record something. Like, All right, cool. I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, episode six. And uh, yeah, you came over and uh, you were what? Jehovah Witness. Hey, Mr. Bombastic, fully fantastic. It's a monkey. You're not a Jehovah's Witness, are you? Was that the thing? Is like, you're Jehovah's Witness. Can't, I can't even, oh my and god. Burnt this salad. That's all I remember. You burnt this salad. That, that is the oh, scene. Yeah, salad. I don't know why. I always had a scene. I was like, I, I really want a scene where I like, I burn oh, a salad. Really? That hurt my feelings, people, man. This is what people, I know, people obviously you're a vegetarian. I'm, a vegetarian. People yeah. know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm vegetarian. All I remember that salad got burnt. Yeah. Papa, no, part me did that. Let me tell you about the salad. First of all, there was no salad in there. <laughs> there was nothing in that bowl, right? Then the, the whole mission of trying to get that lit was was impossible. We had we had aerosols, we tried some oil, we I don't know what we ended up using, but it was the most dumbest idea we had. I, I think it was my idea, right? But it's like we had this big massive flame that came up this big inside my house and we had to run through um, the the net curtain into the into the kid, uh, yeah. um, the garden. We nearly set your house we, on fire. We could have easily burnt down the freaking house. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But it was but worth it though. Was, the it was worth was the memorable. risk. I think everyone is sidestepping from his actual one of his first lines, which made him, which made all the fans think he was gay, which is probably true. Where you came to the house, Hamza, as a Jehovah's Witness, yeah, or apparently Jehovah's Witness. And JP pulls your zip down and says, We can have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Was it? Was no. it the first one? Yes, you did but watch that, it. But that, but that was a thing. I don't understand. Everybody oh, thought that Dexter was gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You now, now you know why. You were undressing Hamza. Oh, yeah, yeah. You were on the bed and like, We can have some fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, that, now I remember. <laughs> yeah, because everyone, yeah, yeah, everyone thought you were gay. That for years. <laughs> Anything that relates to uh, Twister. Twister, we were getting like really yeah, yeah, for yeah. whatever. My bum was in your face. <laughs>
Yeah, it wasn't a real fart. Yeah, it to... wasn't a real fart. Yeah, that of course was just, it wasn't. That was another friend sitting behind going. <clears throat> yeah, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. That was good. And Yogi, I think, if I'm not mistaken, our first ever scene was on the bench, the famous bench in the, the park, famous right? Famous bench. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And what was the line? Oh, the, the, the famous line. Oh, that... Um, it starts with um. The ocean is blue. And the dirty is brown. I remember, I think Fiaz was there. Yeah. Asif, I think you might have been there. And yeah, I know someone else was there. Um, but all I remember that day, yeah, because this is the first time I was going to act and do some dialogues. Like, you had a long speech for me to do. Yeah, but yeah, we yeah. had to trim it down because it was so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's why most of the world thinks that I'm Pakistani at the moment, yeah, because there was the end bit where, where it's meant to be. I actually worked for the Indian intelligence agency, yeah, yeah. Dhamma or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, all I remember that day, I was just like, yeah, you should act like this, like um, a bit more like James Bond. And then um, I'm pretty sure it was Asif that asked us, like, no, you should act a bit more like this. And then the other guy who's no who's no longer part of the team anyways then he was like you should be like this and that's why that scene was like so confused yeah like i was english accent and then <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. Later, my head just went fresh yeah because i remember editing it and then one minute you were like talking completely normally like uh yeah. you know like whatever the line was and the next minute you had an accent and then i didn't get what yeah, was going on i was like shit i should have paid attention i didn't even I didn't realise, but yeah, we got it in the end, though. We got the character right in the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, that was long. It was yeah. cold, though. People don't understand, yeah, when we film outside, it is so cold. And for some reason, Hamza likes filming a lot more in the winter than the summer. Yeah, because I wear and a woolly hat. The shoots are outside. That's, be that's because it took a year to make an episode of Diary of a Bad Man. It only come with, always come back to winter. Thanks, yeah. thanks. But thanks. in Diary of Bad Man 6, you know the rap battle? Yeah. I'm in the back. I'm me. Understand, I'm not a bad boy, I'm a bad man. So, were you in Diary of Bad Man before like you were officially in the back? No, 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 officially nine. It was, it was Bad Man. Yeah. yeah. Um, and throughout the whole scene, it said next day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Secret Agent Kalia. I work for the PIA, Pakistan Intelligence Agency. <laughs> I'm not going to be bothered to take off. It was just like next day, just in case people don't know. Yeah. And that was after Callum rolled over your back and he injured your back. The scene before. Okay, okay. Park. The thing, the the thing with that. Oh my god, I have to say it. So we had we we had another friend who was part of our circle called Callum. We, yeah. He was a, a friend of mine that we uh, that I was singing with. You know, we were trying to do our little singing career and everything. Uh, for whatever reasons, you know, we all separated. But at that time, I swear he was angry at me because it was that scene where it was we're all running away from Callum because he's like, what was he? He was like a. A, a hitman? Yeah, he was just like, yeah. yes, the bad guy, yeah. He was a hitman. Yeah. I swear he had it out for me that day. He was pissed off because when he got me in that little that little choking hold, bro, he was putting all his power. His bloody biceps were like ticking huge, just like choking the hell out of me. And then you come to save me. And I'm thinking, you'll get... And the, but this is all improv. We never know what Hamza is going to be doing. Yeah. Uh, so when I think that Hamza and Asif are going to come back and save me, I didn't know that Hamza was going to do a little slide tackle, kick me, and then put me into another headlock. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? And you, and you kind of just have to like act it out as well. It's like yeah. on the spot. And that's how we had so many bloopers. And that's why we yeah. like, got crazy laughs and, uh, out of it because we just didn't know what the hell was going to happen. You can say your things were scripted. It, it was it like wasn't. bullet yeah. points. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to come and save you. But we didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> That's one of the beauties about Hamza's directing because being when when it's all improvised or most of it's improvised, you have so much more fun with it and um, it makes it more enjoyable and like you said there are a bit more bloopers yeah. which obviously adds to what the what his fans want and um that's what makes it enjoyable like that scene you were talking about i i was supposed to drop kick callum but i speared him off you yeah without yeah. us knowing yeah, yeah. Hamza put you in a headlock and um i i think i was out of the shot at that time but i was laughing so that's what i'm saying you know you can have that kind of fun with it and that's why um, working with him is brilliant because 
he, um, he he includes these things to make it really fun as well as the lines. Forget the lines. Just the improvising makes it so much more fun. I think everyone can agree with that. One thing that I really rated about you guys, um, I mean, obviously JP had a bit of experience with the whole YouTube thing, but initially everyone here was, and obviously is, my friend, but you guys weren't actors. This is not really what you wanted to do in life. And I guess when I started Diary of a Bad Man, I looked at my circle and, you know, I'd see Asif and I was like, oh, you could play this. And I saw Fayaz and I was like, oh, he could, he could be the dentist because he's a dentist in real life. And then I saw Umar and I was like, everyone's going to love Umar. And, and the one thing about you guys is you guys had no acting experience, but you learned on the job and you learned so quickly and one thing that I, I, even though we obviously broke character so many times, but because my problem is I would just add a line or I would improvise or I would do something completely random. And obviously we would all like burst out laughing half the time. But then you guys understood that I could do anything at any moment and you adapted. And then you guys actually were able to improvise with me and you guys became better actors in, in, in that sense as well. So, I mean, cause there's so many times where I'll just do something really random and then you all pick it up straight away and you guys knew what you were doing and that's why it worked. Most definitely, most definitely. I still remember that scene where you were chasing us in the car. No, chasing us um, You were about to get married to that uh, African girl. And I changed the lines, or you changed the lines. Which African and, girl? Uh, Baba Zule. <laughs> Baba, Baba Zule. Oh, Baba Zule. Yeah, Baba Zule. Yeah, I think that's Baba Batman Zule. 5, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Batman 5. Baba Zule. Yeah, yeah, it's... it's, it's uh, Baba Zule. So, um, I still remember that scene, that way you changed it, like, you weren't supposed to say this, you weren't supposed to say that. But I also improvised with you, back to you. Yeah, yeah. But then I switched it all the Namja head. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What's, what's her name? Like, I had to continue that on to make it more flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always, I've only learned that from you. Yeah, yeah. I've only seen that from you, Hamza. Yeah, I think, so I think that is in so many positions where it's been so hard to keep a straight face. And one I remember is that you remember the first time we we recorded at um at my shop. Yes. And we were all sitting uh, around the round table, and you just looked at. I think it was me, Asif. I think it was me, Asif, uh, Yogi. I think it was yeah, Yogi was there, and you, and it was just like, okay, guys, just just what, just I'm just gonna do something, and you had like a doll or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's all in the blue, but you can go watch that. Yeah, go yeah. watch it. But like, I'm just gonna improvise. We just didn't know what the hell was gonna come out of your mouth. Yeah, and it just ran, and every single time was something different. It's not like, oh, that was a good joke. I'll do that one again. No, you created something different. Every single time, yeah. and I just didn't understand how your brain worked like that. Yeah. It's crazy. And yeah. In that video, if you notice, right, the camera angle is behind my head because I was laughing so much as we spoke about <laughs> yes. before. Have an easy target. No one was biting. <laughs> you know how hard it is for me, yeah? I have to constantly look at him, yeah? I think I remember JP saying, he had to work hard to keep a straight face because I was still laughing. Yeah, 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 I remember. And what about you, Fayaz? Fayaz, like, uh, I mean, do you remember one time that we were filming that was, you know, like your funniest moment on set? I think the first time, yeah, I think the first time was always going to be the favourite. Um, but I think, you know what it is, is I think most of, most of the scenes that I've done have all been in the dental chair, or, yeah, yeah. you know, and there's only so much, you know, like, in terms of, it was all very well done like in terms of you know i think the ideas we came up with were pretty spot on you know so i think all of those scenes have been like always memorable do you yeah. know what i mean like yeah. trying to trying to uh, make me convince Umar that he's pregnant which <laughs> yeah. If, yeah. you know if you think about it really like deep level like deep level ways then you know it's actually not that difficult yeah. you know what yeah. I, mean? but still, I made the fiver out of it so i was quite happy i was like this is calm yeah. like this is like my first paid acting job. Yeah. Like yeah. In my head. Look, I am a highly qualified professional. There is no way that I would even consider. Yeah, I think those were those are really memorable. But I think for me, it was always about like because you see, when I when I was doing those scenes, it wasn't my dental practices. Yeah. Yeah. So I was trying to convince the owner that you were like a patient like, that coming at the end of the day. Like, yeah. I had to do a proper oh, undercover one, you yeah. know what I mean? So, like, it was just weird. Like, we burst in the song and, like, 
you be you be dancing around the dancing around the reception area and yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, man, those were those were good times. And yeah. Like you know, like I said, for me, you know. So. Um, and now yeah. you have your own dental practices, and you're like really, really, yeah. really, uh, now really it's, rich. Yeah, now, it's, uh, now it's uh, now it's busy, busy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, but yeah, like I said, um, you know, for me, uh, I, I think my favorite, my favorite scene has to still be slapping JP. Like I think the there's that many that scenes that you slap JP. Wait, when did you slap me? Scene. And I know, and I know, because you told me this after Hamza that you got it on the first take. But you just did it a few more times just for Wait, wait, wait. I, look, I know, I, I know, I know the I one know scene, and I'll, I'll tell you one scene that really annoyed me and all the straight faces up. Where did you slap me? What was it? What was the scene? No, not me. Hamza. Oh, when Hamza slaps me. When Hamza oh. slapped you. Because I know said, that he got it on the first take. Go back to the bloopers, and there'll be a scene between me, Hamza, Arsif, and uh, Yogi. Right. And That's my I'm favorite. Like, that's my favorite. That's the favorite. You guys must have slapped me about 15 times. And I took, and, and I don't know why I was so committed. And we were like, and I know you probably just said it for the fun of it. I was like, oh, we need to get the sound right. You know, we, we can't add it in after because, you know, the special effects is crap, but we must just get the real sound. Yeah. And me being dumb, like, yeah, let's, let's go with it. Slapped me. Who yeah. was I'm just saying make me? it convincing. Yeah. I'm just saying make it convincing, yeah? And I was like, cool. And then I did it. And I remember, I don't know if it was the first or the second one, that slap didn't connect well enough. So I know that wasn't convincing. And then yeah. I remember, when I was meant to slap you, I meant to say he did it, like towards Hamza, I think, or Asif. Uh -huh. And then it wasn't the Frishy accent, it was the English accent. So yeah. I had cropped on. Yeah. And then, yeah, about 26 takes later, we got it. Yeah. Yeah, halfway through, you guys all admitted that you were doing it on purpose. Yeah. And like a fool, I was like, keep going. He slapped you. Oh, no, 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 stop. I didn't think no, I, I, I was too busy thinking about slapping his face. <laughs> I feel like he's doing this on purpose. <laughs> nothing like him. He slapped you. That oh was my. too fast. <laughs> <laughs> As in, no, nothing had said anything. But that... that wasn't a good slap. Bro. That wasn't a good slap. I'll do it again. Yeah. <laughs> he slapped you. He called your dad a kusra. <laughs> oh, oh, come on! What's wrong with you? You know what he... <laughs> You hear that slap? <laughs> when he slapped you, I, just I kept a straight face. <laughs> I kept a straight face getting slapped, and you said keep a straight face. I, I, oh, I think God. JP so got much. it the worst though, because we've slapped you. You've been obviously wedged, wedged a lot. Even in real life, we've wedged you in like I when we weren't filming. You've been wedged. Yeah, yeah. I've got that picture as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the video. I made the video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. I still got the video. And then we drowned you in the bathtub. That was a good one. Yeah. After yeah. me cussing my own dad. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. that scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else did we do to you? Where did you, you got him in the head smack after um, Callum did. Yeah, yeah, you smacked me with a bowl. You choked me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you uh, asked if I uh, hit my legs with a with a stick. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, why, was, why, why was I when you, look and you created this character? I don't know when you created Dexter. You were just like, oh, I just need someone to be like, kind of like goofy, but brainy, but dumb. Yeah. But I need to talk like. I don't know. I don't know how we created Dexter, but why was Dexter initially just going to be the one that was just going to be bullied all the time? Because it's like in real life, yeah. really. To be fair, <laughs> everyone in the group bullies you the most. Maybe because you're one yeah. of the nicest. I don't know. Like, but you, you, you. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have any comebacks. I'm not quick like uh, Fayaz. Fayaz is the worst. Yeah. Fayaz is just too like on it with, yeah, with yeah, cussing yeah. and everything, and I, and I can't think of anything. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Okay, first of all, first right of all, first of all, first of all, I'm the nicest. Like hands down, I'm the nicest. Yeah. So I don't know what James is talking about. Yeah. I am hands down the nicest. So I resent that fully. Resent that, JP. Yeah. And I don't think I don't remember a time that I've cussed you. I can't remember one. Yeah. I can't remember one time that I've cussed you. Fellas, you've cussed him so much that even I feel guilty and bad. And I don't feel guilty and bad about anything. You take it too far. Fellas, don't like me. Fellas, you cussed him so much. He got on the plane and moved to Canada. Yeah. yeah. Actually, oh, come on. this is this is what I wanted to talk about next. Because obviously, I'm actually proud of my work. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm proud of my and work. And you should be. Um, you know. <laughs> but I I, I want to address something as well. So one of the best things I think we can all agree on uh, was touring. Um, yeah. We, uh, we the the tours were the best because we got to see the fans. Uh, oh man, we need to do another one soon, man. We'll, we'll, oh, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, man. We will we'll definitely do it one work, day. But yes, hundred percent. Yeah, so we've already done basically. You've done it. 
but um, me in a screen in the background. No, well, no, you 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 can calm down, man. Don't worry. Oh, Fares okay. will pay for it. He's rich and he loves you. Um, but there's one moment I think uh, where we we did we did the first tour. I think it was the first tour. Um, JP, you did something to Fares that we will never forget ever. Yeah, I was, I was, ever. I was to bring it up. Like I know why Fares don't like me. Okay, so <laughs> and this was a proper issue. This was an issue. That's 2011. You had another tour before that. Um, I think, yeah, but this was the, the to... first tour when we were all together. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, on the tours, my, my role was, uh, I was trying to do my music career, so I would be singing, yeah. right? So while I'm all in like the hype with stage with uh, Callum was on stage as well, we're all on the hype, and we're like, you know what, it would be so hype if like all the boys just came out as well, and feels like, oh, I don't want to dance, I was like, oh, I don't want to dance, I was like, nah, just come up, you got to go off the stage and start like, you know, shaking everyone's hands and stuff and all that. And the moment where me and Callum climb back onto the stage, right? Uh, Asif was at the bottom, and Callum goes uh, down to pick up Asif. And for some weird reason, and I don't know why, Fayaz, I'm sorry, I left Fayaz at the bottom. I Fayaz was like seat, this. And the guy, the guy standing at the bottom like this. <laughs> and you can see it, it's all recorded, right? <laughs> and stuff. He's just yeah, at the bottom. Like, and he, bro. He, 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 he's, he's so sad. You see him walking off. Just like, he has no. to go to the side. <laughs> he's like this, he's literally like this. It was not Callum that picked me up, it was you. You pulled okay. me back on the stage, and then once you pulled me back on the stage, yeah, it was actually you. I think it was left Fayaz doing this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because remember, I found the footage when when Fayaz told me why he was pissed off. I was like, why are you pissed off, Fayaz? He he don't give a shit about anything. But he was pissed off, and he told me about that story. And then I literally had to go back, find the footage, and obviously showed everyone individually because it was like the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and yeah. I think since that day, Fayaz has made his mission. To always yeah. cost like, a shit out. Now, you know what it was? It was like that Titanic moment, man. You know what I mean? I felt like I was Wait, in the water. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And like, bro, it was cold out there. There was like people that I didn't yeah. know. And I was like, man, man's by himself out here. Yeah. So, yeah. My therapist says it'll never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. You know, that like, side door was, it wasn't even open. You had to wait there until someone knock. figured out. Bro, yeah. I, had, I had to knock on the side door. Like, yeah. who knocks on a side door? I mean, bro, you know what the worst thing is? I don't even think they recognize me. I was like, <laughs> they, they thought I was one of the fans. You're like, I'm the dentist. They thought I was a really world dressed fans. I, had I think I'm to come get me and be like, no, that's my best mate. Mm. You better let him in. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I had, I had figured out that you were pissed off. And, and it, it, I, I don't know whether someone said it to me. We have one great thing about this group is that if someone is annoyed at the other, yeah. the others tell tell us that, look, this is what you've done. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we need to sort this out. And we all came together, to came together, and um, and we saw it out. We've always done that. Some, some may have taken a little bit longer, but we've always sat down. Yeah. So when it came to me figuring out that Fayaz was pissed off me, I, that's where the footage came in. You had to literally physically show me, what did I do? What did I do? And just, him just like kind of just walking off to the side but <laughs> yeah yeah that was one good thing about our group though we always when we had a problem with one person yeah. we would address it because otherwise it would have just taken like way too long yeah to yeah i i think the i mean we, me and asif were talking about this uh, recently i think the first day uh i don't know if you guys remember the first day i thought umar you weren't really you didn't come uh, i think you were the only one who didn't come to, on the tour isn't it i wasn't there i was um i Start my business, isn't it? Yes, yes, I yeah. The pizza at that time, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I wasn't there at all. Exactly. Uh, I but yeah, I, at the pizza shop. yeah. I remember when we did the um, the first day when it was Bradford. Do you guys remember? Yeah. And then I think uh, we had like a flat tire, and then we came like was it like two <laughs> hours late, and there was like <laughs> like <laughs> seven hundred uh, people. The in... name was number one. So that, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, number one, yeah, 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 there's a random freshie guy who was with us on tour, and we called him number one for no reason, um, but yeah, that, that was, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but that was, 
that could have really escalated like badly because what happened was we we came two hours late which wasn't our fault it was our driver there was like 700 fans in this this hall waiting for us getting restless and then <laughs> and then we get there and i think what happened was i think we you and callum one and stayed straight away isn't it and yeah. um and yeah. you started obviously you guys started doing your songs and then the microphones weren't working and then uh, Callum no, no, got no. pissed off and then he left and he, I remember, I remember, I think I have footage of you just saying what was he doing and then you just walked off as well because you didn't know what was going on and then the audience got even more pissed and then yeah. I think, was it Yogi and Asif that had to go on stage? Was it you two? No, 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 I know, I know. it was, okay, first of all, what had happened was this is the first time me and Callum were singing in yeah. front of a crowd, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure, yeah. Nervous as hell. The first thing we wanted was, are the mics, uh, Hamza, are the mics cool? Have they set up everything, right? When we get there, they had no sound system. We were going to be singing off their PA system, yeah. which was just an announcement PA system. Yeah. I was like, how am I supposed to do that? And I'll be honest, bro, I couldn't sing my song Sunshine. Yeah, in, yeah. In the, in the recording studio? Yeah. Easy, because you can just like tweak things here, multiple takes. When you're singing live, yeah. it, it was a very hard song to sing. So you were like, just sing it and I said well, I can't project that and he was just saying I can't project that and uh, yeah we we got scared we yeah. got stage fright and then we walked off you got pissed off at us like you know you need to give me some time I can't get up there it was um bonafide bonafide saved your ass that day what did they but in Bradford yeah. bro you I don't the know the first time that I walked off was when bonafide was there was no the bro when you, you meant off, when you and Callum walked off Bonafide uh, were never there! Exactly. What are you, you talking about, man? Talk? Mute yourself! They weren't even there! You just, exactly. just wanted to say Bonafide! When you and Callum walked off, the organiser at that time said, Right, I said, go on stage and just talk to the crowd. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know, I've never done this before. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know what to do or what to say. And, and, and she was like, Sorry, just get out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went out there, and I remember trying to calm them down, but it was really difficult. I think Yogi was standing next to me as well. And then um, I remember I looked at the organizer, like to say, get Hamza out here right now. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and I think then... she just literally dragged Hamza by his lulli and dragged him out. Yeah. No and... children, no nothing straight on. I don't remember that. And just I for the record, it. just for the record, because everyone thinks I get pissed for no reason, okay? That's not me. The reason why I got pissed as well was because the way... Callum, even though it was not his fault, obviously the 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 technical side, like they, they it was not on lock and it didn't work. But he, the way he left, knowing that the crowd had been waiting for two hours, the way he left the stage, yeah, like all pissed off and stuff, like you know, like like Madonna or something. And I'm like, you're gonna make it worse. Do you know what I mean? Like you know, make a joke of it or, or don't just walk off because then they were getting more pissed off. Then poor Asif had to jump on and be like, hi guys, let's be friends. And and then in the end, Farah, <laughs> my manager, she she had to literally just drag me on. And I, I, I remember what actually saved the day was, uh, first of all, I gave, it, I gave it my all in the performance, but also when I turned around and I said, um, I am gonna take a picture with every single one of you guys afterwards. And we did right, like- I remember that. Yeah, two, it was like two hours. Well, it took- Longer than the drive. That was longer than the drive. Yeah, it was. It was. That, whole, that was longer than the drive. What well, so would They deserved it. They deserved it. I remember it. Yeah. So they were amazing. I don't know where you are, JP. I don't know. I thought I don't. I don't remember this one. Maybe even bonafide later. The first one, JP. What's it called? It would take us three hours just to get out of London that on the way to Bradford that day. Yeah, every, everything, was everything was going wrong. Everything was going wrong. Remember three point ten? I forget everything else. Yeah, on the motorway, it was like the most like illegal maneuver that anyone could make on the motorway. I remember something that Fayaz in Glasgow stopped Yogi from doing and that's all I'm going to say. No, 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 he didn't stop because the damage already happened. I'm going to say it because Ars is stopped. You brought it up near like one of the last few shows of the whole tour. Now, Here's the thing, yeah, I'm vegetarian and I don't even eat food, like, it's mixed with the wrong yeah, oil. Yeah. 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 So um, I remember the guy comes with um, samosa, pukori, no, he came with pukori and chips and I was like, um, I said to the guy after the, remember this is a show, we travelled there, 
on that same day to Scotland. We didn't stay the night before. So we're tired. We had the show. Uh, three hours later, we're all hungry. And I said to the guy, look, um, I was like, buddy, like, like, brother, like, is this cooked in the same oil? Because I'm vegetarian. I don't eat food from the same oil like, if it's cooked with the meat. He goes, okay, no, no problem. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. And he comes back with samosa now. Baby yeah. samosas. Yeah. I was so hungry. <laughs> and if anyone knows me, I'm one of those freak people who has bare ketchup. Yeah. And all I remember tasting was these baby samosa and ketchup. I love Before ketchup. you know it, I think I yam too. I'm on my third one now. Yeah. I took a bite and then... I looked at it and then Fiazza goes and Fiazza's like, Yogi. And I said, Yeah, he goes, don't eat this. This is Gima Samosa. Yeah. All I means. hear right next to me, he asked it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he pissed me off here. Literally, I saw red. All I remember, Hamza put his arm around me and he took me for a walk to the backstage. He took me back out of the hall. Yeah. And he goes, Don't worry, bro, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll have a word with him. It's okay. Look, you didn't know. It's fine. Just you know, just uh, just go yak it out in the toilet or something. Yeah. Next day, I just you did, didn't you? Yeah, you I did, don't. Yeah. Mad stomachache, man. Yeah. Shut up, God. Died. Kalona. Alaba. So this is a good question. Obviously, the 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 tours that we went, the shows that we did. Uh, what was that, Umar? <laughs> cucumbers. I didn't the cucumbers. Eat the salad. I didn't eat the salad. I didn't like eat the salad. I like cucumbers. That are, so you don't like cucumbers? I ate the meat. I just ate the cucumbers. Sounds healthy. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just eat the meat. Don't worry about the veg. Yeah, that's yeah. The lack of salad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just be like Yogi in Glasgow. Um, <laughs> what I'd say though, yeah, <laughs> out of every uh, show that we've done so far, what was your favourite moment? Uh, I'll start with the uh, Fayaz. Uh, I think for me, like the fav the best moment was I think we finished one show. I think it might have been Glasgow actually. Yeah. And everyone was just like it was just everyone was just so like proud. I think I think that's probably the best word. You know, mm. like we were all so proud of you, man, because you smashed it up like differently. You know, yeah. and we were just so proud of you. And I think. I remember coming in and I was on the phone. I was trying to get off the phone, but everyone did a group hug. But I still wanted to be part of the group hug. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, and yeah. you see me on the phone jumping up and down like a madman. Yeah? Yeah. I'm like, I need to go. But, you know, it was just, and I think that kind of just epitomized like what we were all about. Yeah. You know, we were, we were going around trying to spread the good word, yeah. but in a funny way. Yeah. yeah. And you were doing your thing and, um, you know, and, 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 you know, you've done it for, so many years and still so many years to come, you know what I mean? So I think like, I think that that was for me like that moment. I think everyone together, yeah. like, apart from Umar, obviously Umar couldn't make it, but I think yeah. all of the other boys were there. All of the other boys in the in the, in the crew at that time were there, yeah. and it was just it was just nice to to have that moment, you know. Yeah. Um, what, what about uh, you, Arsene? <laughs> what would you say is uh, one of your favourite moments or or funniest moment when we were on tour? Um. Well, favourite moment, I have to echo what Fayar said. I think it was at the end of every show, we all had a big group hug. Yeah. Um, all of us together, like at the, on the main stage. Yeah. And um, I th that... I think there's a behind the scenes, by the way. Uh, I don't know which one it was. Uh, there, was a, there was a montage at the end of the show. Yeah. Then we always used to sit on the stage and we used to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used yeah. to lay down. I think that's uh, when it kind of showed the journey. But I remember Cardiff was amazing. Yeah, Cardiff was cr They didn't yes. make me talk oh, for like yeah, seven, eight shot. minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were amazing. Yeah, yeah. I think Cardiff was the best for me personally because uh, I believe it was Cardiff where I had the best reaction for when I sang. Now, I had never had the confidence to sing uh, as much as we did on stage, but for some reason, I hit every note in Cardiff. The sound was great. The fans were amazing. They were chanting. Uh, you know, for you and you know, you killed it that day as well. But for me personally, that was a really good day um, because it was a day I performed performed like my best, yeah. and I was happy with myself. But like uh, Fayaz was saying, that last moment where first of all we would kind of like lay down on the floor, yeah, uh, looking towards the screen, and we'd have like a a, a montage. What, what, what were we watching? What was it? It was the behind the scenes of, of what, yeah, it was, yeah. It was like the start of the Dive of Batman, like you know, certain scenes, clips, and then the other like um what we do with like charity wise the kid like 
the whole yeah. journey up until then, and you got to remember that was like 2011, innit? So yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So that, and that was beautiful because it, everything was kind of set in the tour, and we knew exactly what we were doing. We'd all lay down. All right, guys, you start watching the video, and then we get up and we'd have this group hug, and yeah. we knew we accomplished something really good. Yeah. What about you, Yogi? What What do you remember about all the tours and all the shows that we did? I don't, I, I don't know why, even though I know Bradford, like, we got there late, but for some reason, I remember Bradford being, like, the best one for me. Yeah. Um, they loved you in Bradford. We, yeah. The Gyaldam liked you then. I remember all the girls going, ah! And I was like, shit, he's going to get gassed for the rest of the tour. Well, you know, you know what I did? <laughs> I just went to the stage to put the CD in for JP. Because we didn't have no one to do that for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went on, and they started going crazy. And you got to remember, I only was in Dive of Bad Man, because that tour was after night. Yeah. And I was, I think it was probably maybe two weeks or so, and I was getting a mad reception. I was like, what's going on here, yeah? Mm. But then all I remember, then that same thing, it kind of just carried on. And I do remember Birmingham being a bit crazy, and um, Cardiff. Sure, but Scotland, yeah. Scotland's always been mad. And um, I, think, I think when you go to those, when you go a bit more further right? Um, you you feel a bit more appreciated, but even Queen Mary's was good. Yeah, and Umar, I think you went to Queen Mary's. Like I think you oh, came I on the Kingston. I surprised you, guys. Kingston, that's the Kingston. one. Sorry, yeah, I yeah, surprised yeah. You, uh, the Kingston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nobody knew I was gonna come that day, but I turned up the Kingston one. Me, Yogi, Fiaz were on the oh page. Birmingham, Birmingham Miller, and they wouldn't let Hamza in because um uh we, he didn't have security. They said, oh, he will cause too much hype and we don't have security uh, to control the um, the crowd. So me, Umar and Fiaz, we all had to go onto stage. I remember we went to Leicester. We had a friend in Leicester um, and we went there. Um, I don't know if it was part of the show. I think we just went there just, just to chill, just to get away. And uh, I remember saying to this guy, um, wherever you take us, just make sure it's quiet because we just want to chill. We want to have a good time amongst ourselves. And, you know, we don't want to do a photo shoot for two hours. We just want to want to chill. So he's like, yeah, no problem. No problem. So in Leicester, he took us to, I don't know what it was. It was like a sports sports lounge or something. I don't even know what it was. Um, but he, he, he took us there and then he told us to wait outside. So we thought that he was going in just to make sure that the coast is clear and they were like sort of like the VIP section so we're just away from everyone and just kind of you know do our own thing and then all I remember I don't, I don't know if any of you guys remember this uh, I don't think Umar you were there as well you you, you always yeah you were just were at the shop all the time. Busy. yeah he's always busy but um <laughs> then the doors <laughs> opened all I heard was the DJ saying uh, and guys, now coming on to the stage is Diary of a Bad Man. And then there was like a hundred, like a hundred young people at this like birthday event or something. And the doors opened and they just went straight for me. And then I had all these people like trying to grab my hat and these like hijabi girls scratching my neck and I don't know what they were trying to grab. And um, and then you guys saved the day and you pushed me uh, to my seat. And then what you guys did was, I was sitting down like this, the crowd was just, they, everyone was just going nuts. And I remember that you guys stood right in front of me, like linking your arms. And um, I remember, I think it was Callum who was in front of me. And literally, he, I was headbutting his bum for like four or five minutes straight. Because every, all the girls were like pushing into him and his bum was pushing into me and I'm just getting this bum in my face and I'm thinking, you know what, this life is not that good, you know? I'm not feeling this, this, you know, dunya yeah, right now. Why do that though? I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, and why then... Why would he do that? I, 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 I don't know. I think he wanted to show off, innit? Yeah, but it, it completely backfired and then you guys were like, we have to get out of here. And if it wasn't for you guys, we literally legged it to the car and then I remember the fans were so crazy they jumped into their own cars and they were following us and we had to it was just like a mission impossible chase and and yeah it was crazy you forgot, you, you forgot didn't the DJ say to you hey you're stealing my <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing yeah because what happened was before that? yeah because Cal Callum's as I said Callum's bum kept slapping me up and then I uh, literally I think one of you just chucked me on, on on the stage like behind the DJ decks and I got there and literally the, the DJ just looked at me and literally like with a serious face, he was like, why are you taking my spotlight? 
And and I started laughing like, you're a funny guy. I don't want this, you know. I, I don't want to ask in my face like, this is not what I planned for today. And bro, I swear to you, he's, he was so serious. He actually felt that I came in, took all his like limelight or whatever he, he thought he had. And I literally was like, shut the fuck up. Like, I don't even know who you are, bro. Shut up. And then we literally just jetted. And I think that was... We had some mad experiences. Do you remember any other? We've had so many crazy um, fan experiences, see, man. Now, we've had bad... Uh, what, what have you got? Yo, yeah, I've got some bad experiences. Basically, it was a filming one. So this is for two point something. Yeah. Okay, I can't remember which one. But we were in Scotland. And uh, we were filming on the cliff by the sea. Yes. And then it was with Danny, D4NN1. You know, yeah. Goodbye, goodbye to the people, to the people who... Yes, so Big yeah. up, Danny. <laughs> goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Now, I need... Mean, Shut up, man! So Grace. maybe there was me, Hamza, and uh, Danny, and his little brother, cousin... And we walked on these cliffs to get to the, right to the edge of this cliff. Yeah. And then basically what happened is we said to that little one, keep an eye on the tide so it doesn't cover our path going back. Yeah. What he did was he was watching us film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before you know it, we turned back and we couldn't see the path that we got there to. We are on a remote island uh, in Scotland. Uh, and basically uh, the tide has come in. So the pathway to go back to the homeland... It is now this. <laughs> Next thing you know, we're stranded. And at this point, Hamza bought a brand new camera. Three and a half grand. He goes, bro, whatever happens to me, make sure that camera's <laughs> in yeah. Bro, I don't know. We, we couldn't get a signal. But there was a person on the shore and he was going like this, yeah. walking his dog. We were literally in the Trust middle of the sea. Like within the hour, yeah. like we were on this hilltop and the tide oh. came in. And literally, like, the track that we used to get to the hill, that all went underwater, and we were literally stuck wow. on that hill. And, then the, and and I think it was, like, I think on my Instagram, it's, like, one of my first few posts that I take <laughs> of, like, us just running, like, with life jackets on or something like that. But, yeah, that was, that, that was horrible. Mad. Yeah, that yeah. yeah. J JP, what you said... What, what about the really bad experiences? Now, so, Diary of Bad Man, you created it so that your character was a young person who wasn't educated on kind of he was he was young i uh, was not educated on life but then he would have a meaningful thing at the end to yeah, teach yeah. people about islam and life in general mm -hmm. it was supposed it, it is that that's what it's supposed to be it is the best way to talk to the the youngsters right yeah. now you know i know so i know what you're talking and about then you would correct it you're talking about right? edgeware road right what happened was we were in edgeware road and um, yeah. we were sitting outside uh, this restaurant, mm -hmm. like an idiot, like an idiot. And we, obviously that was right at the beginning. And um, yeah. we were sitting down and obviously because we were outside, when every, when en whenever anyone walked past, they would be like, oh my God, Dairo Badman, we have to take a picture. So for like two hours, I was just constantly taking pictures. And then what happened was yeah. there was a group of like, these uh, Pakistani boys that just come from the wedding, half of them were obviously lit out of their faces and they all wanted to take pictures, which was fine and they were all sick. But there was two boys, it wasn't all of them, it was two boys okay. that didn't want to take a picture. So what happened on that day was, um, uh, I, I, yeah, I was taking pictures with everyone, all of the friends, we took pictures, they, they were going into the lounge and... Um, uh, yeah, they turned around and like, oh, Hamza, can we speak to you? And straight away I knew, yeah. I was like, oh, like, because, you know, Alhamdulillah, one thing is, you know, we didn't have, I think we might have had two, three bad experiences in the last 10 years. So we're very lucky, but I know you picked this one because this was like an actual bad one. And um, yeah. Yeah, he took me to the side and then he was just like, um, oh, like, bro, like, you know, like, why are you taking the piss out of my religion? And I was like, uh, well, first of all, it's not your religion. I saw he, like... I don't think you, you own it, yeah, you don't buy it or something. So, um, yeah, like, it's all our religion. And, and if I have offended you and, and offended our religion, can you please tell me what I've said? Um, and, and he literally, he had nothing to say. He was like, all right, cool, all right, you don't take the piss out of our religion, yeah, but what you do do, yeah, is like, like, and I have to bleep this out, but it was like, you, f like, you know, f***ing, like, every f***ing time, yeah, I f***ing see my nephew, f***ing, like, like, watching your f***ing, 
f***ing videos every f***ing time like afterwards he's f***ing saying dutty dutty all the f***ing time and I was like bruv you said f the word f 75 <laughs> times in like in two sentences so I don't know why you're talking about language and plus if your nephew is so young he should be chaperoned and what he's watching do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you don't like it, you should... But, you know, he admit, but he admitted that he actually never watched an yeah, episode. Yeah. He's just going by what his friend told him. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That this is what he's doing. Yeah, and then what happened was there was three lovely sisters that were waiting to take a picture. That One of the sisters, they turned around and they were like, what are you talking about? Like, Hamza, um, you know, he's, he's a great role model for us and he's actually doing really good. Like, he's making these funny, entertaining videos, but the whole point of it is, right. like, showing this idiot who learns from his mistakes and there's always a slumming message at the end. This is like really cool. And, and I think I, like on that week, I was like, it was the first time I ever went on BBC News. Like they did like a story on me. So they mentioned that he's, he's in BBC News. He's a Muslim. He's spreading yeah. a positive message. And he turned around and he said, shut up, you bitch. And when he said that, and that was a hij like, now that's a hijabi sister, bro. Yeah. So when he said that, I got angry, but I had to keep my cool because obviously all the like there was yeah. loads of fans there still waiting. Because it was, it, was, it was piling up. So um, I turned around and I said, look, bro, I've spent the last 10 minutes having a discussion with you. Let's just agree to disagree because now you've disrespected the sister and I don't want this to continue. So, you know, with all due respect, but I'm going to go. So as I turned around, one of the boys turned around and said, oi, don't walk away from me. And he grabbed my arm. And all I know is I think Asif throughout this whole time was like having some like shawarma or something and he, <laughs> he never left his shawarma but one thing that I rated about you JP because like you you always said like you're not a fighter yeah I was always a naughty boy yeah. Umar is actually a naughty boy as well we won't talk about that but everyone thinks he's like innocent and cuddly but he's, he's a naughty boy um, but you you were never about that life but one thing that I rated about you and it always stuck to this day was even though you've always said like you know you don't know how to fight you've you've never been in a fight but you straight away jumped in front of me just in case someone tried mm. to bottle me or whatever and then luckily the staff uh of that restaurant lounge whatever it was they all came out and we had a little tussle uh no one got hurt or anything like that uh yeah. but i was really angry and remember we me you and uh mm. asif we walked back to the car and then remember i got so angry I was like, forget the celebrity shit. I'm going to beat him up. Like, yeah. I thought I was Rambo. And then I ran back and then you lot had to control me. And yeah. then I think actually yeah, yeah, one yeah. of my friends, Mumsy, um, you know, he's a singer. And he's, he's, he's experienced in all of this because he was in the industry way before me. Yo, Mumsy. <laughs> and that's when he said, like, bro, if you're going to some bait place like Edgeware Road, you can't just roll up with two mans and sit outside, yep. you know, a, a random restaurant right in the middle of, yeah. of everything. We always said after that, as from this day, we do not leave the house with uh, less than three people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, because if you ever get in that situation, the, thing, the, only, the reason why I got in front was, yeah, yeah okay, like, I don't like to fight. If I had to, we'll see. Haven't had the, haven't had the, the, the opportunity or it never really got towards it. But the thing was, you, you, you are and have been and are destined for success, right? We know you're from South London, right? You know, we know what a boy would really want to do. If a guy wants to fight, we're there. That's, that's how we're going to sort it out. Yeah. But you were destined for success. And this is at the beginning of your career. And we could, and this is where everyone's going to pull out their mobiles. Hamza's yeah. going to punch someone out. And it's going to be all over the internet yeah. where you're trying to you know, create this good vibe and like teach, yeah. you know, the, about Islam and, you know, have to, everyone to be good and stuff. If you got caught like that, career gone. Yeah. Right. You couldn't be caught like that. Yeah. And I think, I think, you have, you, yeah, I, I think like one guy out of everyone that knows me better than anyone, even though I, obviously I'm, I'm the funny one, like with every, like we all, we all got, we all give bands, but I'm obviously known as like the, the crazy joke or whatever, but Fayaz knows what I was like before Dario of Badman, innit? And, and that's why it was so hard for me to adjust because I'm now this like role model, this, you know, celebrity or whatever, whatever I am. And, you know, um, I had to completely change because before, you, you, you're you the only one who knows. Well. Yeah. I mean, Omar knows as well because obviously we grew up in South London. But I, I can just say the Green Corsa, uh, Road Rage. This is a Road Rage. That's it. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I think they... <laughs> 
And we, we, we winced that wing course, bro. We, we winced did. it. And the other one, the white one, we yeah, winced yeah. that so badly. Because yeah, yeah. you, you passed your driving test before me. Yeah, like so for three like days the after year, my 18th birthday. Like, you were, you, I was like, where do you want to go? And well, you were like, yeah, I'll drive. So now I did. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, now, you see, the thing about Hamza, before he was um, <laughs> a celebrity, um, very, like, calm, you know, very <laughs> collective, you know, like, <laughs> now you can say so you can say whatever you can say whatever it's fine it's a podcast right, so, man. So, yeah. like I'll put it this way yeah put it this way I remember like okay so the reason I know Hamza so well is because we used to be next door neighbours mm. yeah so he was there from the beginning like he was at my first birthday party mm. I've known him all my life yeah but there was a there was a, there was a time in between like when I think he was like we were like 12 maybe 12 or something when he goes to me he goes Fayaz um that my mom and dad are moving house and I'm like what yeah. are you talking about and he's like yeah we're having um, you know we're having like my, I've got a, you know we're having another like kid I'm going to have a sister so we're moving house like we need a bigger house I'm like well just because your mom and dad are like you know can't keep on lock you mm. know you're moving house that's deep man mm. so I was like oh, cool so basically we like before before he left like we had we had all the like yeah bro I'm going to come see you and whatever yeah. and like we had numbers but you don't forget, we were like 12. We didn't really have like mobile phones and that. Yes, I think I was, was 15. It, was, yeah, uh, yeah. 15. But we didn't really have like mobile phones and that. None of us could drive. like So it was always a bit difficult. So we lost contact for about, what was this, five, six months? It was actually a whole year, bro. Months, maybe? It was a whole year. Was it a whole year? Yeah. Okay, so we lost contact for like a whole year. And then all I remember is I was at home by myself. And then there was this knock at the door. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. And that, and like, I looked outside, and I see this, like, hooded up guy. Like, I mean, he, I, you know, he had four hoodies on. Yeah. And I'm like, this is in the middle of summer. Yeah. Now yeah. my man's got four hoodies on. And I'm like, right, this is Sweet like, that's it. Not hot. this house is getting robbed. Yeah, yeah. Now one way or another, this house is getting robbed. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, cool. And then he's like, hey, ours. And I'm like. Now the robber knows my name. That's even worse. <laughs> like, like, he knows me. That's yeah. even worse. Like, what yeah. am I going to say to the police? Like, yeah. they're not going to believe me. Yeah. yeah? That the guy knew my name. Yeah, okay, fair. whatever yeah. you say. Yeah. So I opened the door and it was actually Hamza. Yeah. And I was like, raw, bro. Like, you know, he was, look, he always did it with good intentions. That's all I can say about Hamza. Like, from, from the day, ever since I've known him, yeah. he would never start a fight. He no. would never go around looking for a fight. But one thing I have to say is that. Certainly out of the two of us, he was like my bodyguard. I ain't going to lie to you, yeah? He was like one time my bodyguard, yeah? Um, and um, what's it called? Um, like, I knew he always did it with good intentions because he always believed in, in right. Yeah. Like, he was a big, firm believer in doing things right, you know? I didn't like bullies. If he saw someone getting bullied or wow. if he saw something that's going wrong, like, he would, he, you know, he would make it his, 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 his mission to make sure that it's put right, you know, with, with the right level of... Uh, violence. With the right <laughs> level of violence. <laughs> <laughs> I like I miss those days that I stuck with love. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you so were the worst you were the worst best friend to ever have because oh, yeah. he obviously he's the charmer. Everyone knows that he's the charm even in Dyro of Badman, yeah. he's the charmer, all the girls loved him, yeah? Like pre Dyro of Badman days, he was just he fails his fails, yeah? And the guys would hate him. Hate him because it would be jealous because half the girls liked fails. So when they want to beat him up, <laughs> they also be like, all right, Hamza, this guy wants to beat me up. Or um, Hamza, there's like 20 boys waiting outside for the school. Remember the time outside yeah. your school, there was 20 mans oh. waiting for you outside sixth form. And I yeah, literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no car, so I had to call your mum and say, oh, could I come with you to collect fares? <laughs> and she's like, all right. And then I told your mum, oh, could you just stay in the car? And then I just see 20 mans waiting to rush you. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. I said that I, I remember I went there and I was like, if anyone touches my boy, I'm gonna beat all of you up. And the next minute I know you come out with the biggest grin ever, and you're just yeah, looking at everyone, taking the piss, like actually just milking it, and just walk right in the middle of everyone. And then yeah, and then you know like you know like you know like it just parted. You know like yeah, but, like, kind of, just did you have that kind of reputation? I think I think you know what it was. I don't think it was it wasn't like so much of a reputation, but he just looked so ghetto, man. Like, <laughs> like, honestly, like, he... Because yeah, you went to a private school, didn't you? Yeah, I went to yeah, a private school. school. Yeah. So, but so Umar actually... Like the devil oh, yeah, oh. Umar knows... Uh, Umar kind of knows more as well about, like, you know, how I was, like, known for... Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But no, but as I said, I've changed now and, and whatnot. But it was very hard for me 
Uh, and I think for everyone, because we were all friends and obviously we were doing this together and Diary of a Bad Man was, was amazing. But I think like we had to be careful where we went, even though we, as I said, we only had two or three bad experiences. But even in terms of like fans, and it was just so crazy at the time. We, you know, you guys know that I just kind of wanted to just chill with you guys and not do a photo shoot every day. So like there was a lot of times where we wanted to go bowling or we wanted to go cinema and we decided... Uh, not to and uh, and and I think that we did lose. That was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted to <laughs> do all these things, like but to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I was going to say it was me. I was like, guys, can we not just like go bowling? No, nah, no, nah, we can't do bowling. Why not? Oh, then we'll just get rushed. You know, yeah. the, loads of fans who just want pictures. What about cinema? No. Nah, what cinema can we go to? Can't go to that one. Can't go to that one. Yeah. So we would have movie nights at yeah. home. We would have yeah. it at uh, Arsenal's house. Yeah. We would have it at uh, your house. Yeah, and we would we would just stay in, but we got so fed up of of people just kind of like interrupting our meals. In the beginning, we would uh, we were like, yeah, sure, here, take a picture. Our food would get cold, no problem, because you know they've given us this success, right? Yeah. But it got to the point where our food was getting cold, mm. and we were probably getting angry, and we <laughs> we ended up just uh, saying, look, if you're gonna be here, we're gonna eat our food first, and if you're still here, then we'll take a picture. Yeah. But it still didn't improve, and like Yogi said, we just hopped on a plane and went to Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. We had to get away. We had to. Yeah, yeah, we had to. But, um, and you know what? Like, obviously, we've had some, I, I mean, um, we've had some great times, man. And there's literally, we've only touched the surface, but obviously we have a, we have a time limit. And I definitely do think we need to not only do this again, but I have a few ideas about talking about, um, um, you know, making something to really talk about those 10 years and how crazy it was for all of us. Um, obviously, I've then... You know, you guys have all like, you know, been successful in your own careers and brought houses and, 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 and get married and have beautiful, cute kids like Omar, mashallah and everyone. Um, but obviously we, we, we did filming, uh, I think, I think the last one that we were all together was for Badman 10, uh, which JP was in online on the screen. On the yeah. Cause we had yeah. to, I had to have you in. And I remember we did yeah. the scene near the end. Um, of Badman 10 and that would always be one of my favorite scenes of us all together from from in the cemetery and we were just kind of walking out um, and I think it was like a voiceover about you know my friends being there um, and uh, I, I don't know if you guys remember that but that was really special and 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 I'll even be honest with you like throughout Diary of a Badman obviously I brought all of you lot in whether it's to help JP with his career, or whether it's, you know, yeah. Fayaz just helping me out because he's my best mate and, and, and Umar just being really funny and Asif just being one of my closest friends ever and I wanted him to be a part of this journey. Whatever it was, yeah, you know, Yogi knowing my family and us just randomly linking and, 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 and whatnot. But I think that when I've brought all of you guys into this kind of journey, even though, you know, creating Diary of a Bad Man and becoming an actor and a comedian and someone that's just just known. I just wanted to create history. I could never have done that without you guys. And I'm not just saying it because you guys are here because I just remember that, as I said, this is not your dream, but you are my friend, you know? And a lot of you, out of the kindness of your heart, you know, would come to the shoot or would, uh, Yogi would just, you know, come to my house at, you know, dumb times and, and do an all night on, in, in uh, uh, you know, watching the edits and, and Asif would do the same and, uh, and you know, he would like come and he would hold the camera and, and, and even JP, JP would be on the phone and he'll be like, yeah, let's do this, let's do that, throwing out ideas and Omar always being game, whether it's like jumping into puddles or, 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 or doing a weird Even dance in front of like a, like a, a big bin of fire and, you know, whatever it was. Um, you know, if it wasn't for you guys, um, um, Diary of a Bad Man wouldn't have happened and it wouldn't be what it is today. And, um, yeah, I think that, you know, even when I started doing Bad Man, um, one thing that I always wanted to do was incorporate you guys as much as possible, but because you guys are always so busy, um, you know, I don't have that opportunity or that that chance to 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 do it how we used to do, it, where everyone was just free and we could just like mess up. Do you know what I mean? And um, Umar, you ruined the whole speech because of what <laughs> you've done with your fat fingers. Um, but uh, but basically, what I'm trying to say is, you know, without you guys, man, you know, 
Diary of a Bad Man wouldn't have been uh, what it is today and, and as fun as well because we've had so much fun and we've got loads of plans hopefully to to you know to do more stuff whether it's with obviously Bad Man the new series uh, and and all the projects that we have but more importantly man I just can't wait to see you guys again man and I think that you know us you know obviously with corona and lockdown everything's just crazy right now and obviously jp yeah. moving to canada and you know us is going to move soon as well and uh, you know uh, fayaz is always so a busy being changes. rich huh? a lot changes in 10 years bro a yeah lot a lot but a lot a lot doesn't and well you know one thing is like one thing, though, one thing. Let, yeah. let me uh, the thing is i have to mention this so people understand you yeah, like one thing where you haven't changed yeah, like JP was in a bit of YouTube, maybe around the same time as you, Hamza. But you gotta remember, I when I did my own little YouTube uh, when I was doing parodies, I still remember what I, when I did that. I would have never been able to do that if I hadn't been around you. Yeah, I learned so much around you, and I still remember when I finished recording my first parody with the help of Gurav and a few other individuals, D Dark, and so you even you were there in the studio. I still remember you said to me, bro. I'm going to edit this. And then you were editing it, and then it crashed. Because mm. I remember I was at work, yeah, said, bro, yeah, it crashed. And then you had to redo it again. And you yeah. didn't complain. You told me, and then I still remember that. And then you were doing all night. It's not just for mm. your own projects, for me. Yeah, yeah. And I still remember that. And we used um, JP's uh, shop for that as well, when we was doing it um, on the rooftop. Mm. Like, one thing I must say, and for me, because I feel like my journey is a bit different from a lot of the people here as well, because I went on like a like a different road as well. Then when I went down to music, I met so many people because of you. Yeah. I got to work with like, in my in my opinion, like 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 some great talent in the Asian music scene. Yeah. Um, like Mumsy, uh, Janae Caden, J Caden, that's what his new name is, um, uh, Shah, uh, Janae Mia, you know, like um, Zach and all these guys. Like for me, I have to say, you you open up a lot of doors for me, and um, you, and which from one opportunity that you gave me, it opened so many doors. And I must say, like, whenever I look where I am sometimes, um, depending on who that person is in that room with me, I never forget who that person was that actually opened that first initial door. And you know what the other thing is? It's your advice. Mm. I, from, like, little things. Remember when I used to take pictures with fans? I never used to smile. Like, bro, smile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, 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 this smile here. The smile in life, yeah, not even in like pictures. Yeah, I didn't have to smile. <laughs> I feel like I was at someone's room, yeah. like, yeah, and then eventually, like, you know, like, little steps, yeah, yeah. the way you molded me, and then you made me, like, understand, like, how people can perceive stuff, like, you know, the other side of the game, Yeah. and, um, but, yeah, like, for me, personally, bro, like, what I can say is, thank you, like, for so much, and, um, do you know what, like, there's no surprise in your success, and, obviously, I believe everyone feels this, that there's so much more, oh, and big up to Danny as well, man, yeah. like, he's a great manager, no, no, Don't let's like not him. talk about him, man. He hasn't <laughs> made enough money. Like, okay. I think the only thing, yeah, yeah. that I want to, I wanted to contribute with yeah. is like a lot of the fans probably see. Um, the celebrity Hamza, you know, and, and and you know, like I said, they don't really know because they've they, they've not known you, you know, before mm -hmm. Diary of Badman. And I think, like I said, out of the whole group, um, I'm probably the most qualified just to say that for me, is it's never been like. You know, it's never been about anything more than just chilling out with the boys and having fun. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I just wanted, like, the viewers to know that in terms of Hamza as a person, like, I couldn't have, he, he, you know, I couldn't have hoped for, like, a better brother. You know, like, I don't have, like, brothers, like, blood brothers, but he is, like, my blood brother. And uh, for me, he's, I can still call him up to the day. And I know that whatever he's doing, whatever show he's in, whatever interview or maybe if he's not on tv he might point me off but if he's not on tv yeah i know i can call this guy up and be like you know what bro i need you and i know he'll drop it and come because yeah. we've always had that relationship and um you know i think that means more to me and also like obviously it's you know meeting everyone i think i think the boys in this uh in this zoom call really are like family you yeah. know we are just one family you know there's always going to be addition there might be some more additions and you know, but I know the good thing is that I hope that there won't be anyone leaving the group because yeah. I, I really enjoy chilling with this family and I really enjoy spending time with you guys and having bands. And when we get together, like, 
Um, it is jokes. Yeah. You know, we just go back to um, just just forgetting about life for just those just for that hour. If we're chilling together for that hour, we just have so much bands. And I don't think there's been a time where we don't we don't just meet up and just sit there and laugh the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, we just sit there and laugh the whole time. You know, yeah. so that to me is the one. You know. Um, and uh, are you getting, you're getting this all emotional and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good, man. Right, because I'm actually young. Um, for me, I just want to say a big up to Hamza, yeah. Asif, Yogi, and Umar. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, like I just wanna, I <laughs> just up. wanna big up big you guys yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, yeah I man, I appreciate a lot. Yeah. I got one thing to say before uh, Umar wets himself because I know he's desperate for the toilet. Yeah, yeah. Um, Don't worry about him. Well, he confirm it. I just want to say before I go. I just want to say a big thank you to you, especially uh, Faye, I was an Umar for one thing I'm about to say, especially for this bit. You got me involved in Diary of a Bad Man to help me through a bad part of my life, a really difficult part of my life, which yeah. only you, Fayaz, and Umar knew about at the time. Yeah. It was a point where I nearly lost my life because, as you knew, I was in hospital, and when I came out, that's about a week or two later, that's when I joined you in your videos. And that helped me get over that part of my life that you three knew about at the time. Mm. Um, and that was the most difficult part of my life. And obviously, JP and Yogi got to learn about that yeah. Um, yeah. as we formed our friendships as well. Mm. But if it, honestly, hand on heart, if it wasn't for you guys at the time, I probably wouldn't be where I am right now. Mm. In many ways, I wouldn't be happily settled i wouldn't be successful in my job i wouldn't be uh, alhamdulillah married with a child you know i don't think i would have been in this position right now and i think a lot of your viewers don't know this side to you because they just see the the comedy that you bring the um, acting that you bring but they don't know what kind of friendship you bring to this crew and i think every single person here so far has said how they feel about you and what you've brought to them and how much you mean to them. Yeah. And uh, like I said, what I went through at that time, you know, there was nothing that you could do to wipe it from my mind, but you did what you think was best to help me through it, and it worked. Yeah. I mean, look where we are today. We're all really I remember, happy. I remember well, saying that to you. That's it. Is, that, is that the same speech you used on your first date with Hamza? Honestly, that was sick, bro. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna write that down. Hold on, do it again. <laughs> yeah, you can rewind it. No, but it's true. I, do, know, I, I do remember. I do remember. From, from that time, yeah, yeah, yeah. You three were. You knew what was going on, and you helped me. And then the other two, like Yogi, JP, and others, when they got to learn, even though it had passed by then, they were still like sensitive. I remember one quickly, one time we were in Scotland, I think it was, and a certain song came on in a lounge, yeah. which brought back really bad memories for me. And JP saw my head drop. He literally saw my head drop like this. He got up and he went to the DJ, whoever it was, said, can you turn it off? And they turned it off. Mm. So that's what I'm saying. Everyone played their part. Yeah. And that's what meant the most to me about this whole it's a family uh, crew we've got here. And, you know, long may it continue. What about you, JP? Any final words? About this family, no, this dysfunctional fam family? I I mean, for, with, with Faye's speech kind of got me like a bit emotional about about everything. But like, prior to prior to meeting Hamza, I, and yes, Faye, you're probably going to say something. I, I honestly didn't have any friends. No. I didn't have any. <laughs> yeah. um, I, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't have any friends. Because um, I just come back from university and all my, all my university friends, they all moved on. And um, you try to rekindle, but it, it never really, it never really going to be the same that it was, it was going to be, right? And um, then when I met Hamza, and then you know, you guys are my friends because you know Hamza introduced me to his circle, and then becoming part of this circle, this circle becoming a, a freaking family. You guys are honestly the most longest friends I've ever had. It's coming to ten years, and um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually, it really does hurt me for the fact that um that I did leave the country. Um, apart from the fact that you know, you know, I had to leave my parents and stuff. I'm, I'm happy here. You know, I got my wife, I got my kid. But like, 
the the one thing that really hurt me was the fact that losing you guys, right? And it's not that I've lost you. Like, we're still here. We're still 10 years strong. And um, I, I miss you guys. We miss it too, man. Yeah, that's we no, miss you. That's, that's a no-brainer, bro. Yeah. We, we might cuss yeah. you, but it's a term that we cuss you because we love you, man. Yeah. 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 I've, I've, I've held that in for a long time. It's like, you know, leaving, leaving a country... And uh, leaving your family, it, it you know I've just had to kind of like suck it up. And the, the fact that you guys kind of still met behind me, and I was always jealous about that. But um, yeah, no, I miss you guys so much, and I'm so grateful for like this family. Mm. Yeah, there was a time where like um everyone was good, and you know I almost um you know Hamza's like Hamza ended up being my best friend. We had more things in common because we were, we were trying to do the whole YouTube thing, and there was a moment. Um, before I left the country that I could have actually lost all of this. You know, for, for a reason, me and Hamza stopped talking and um, I made it aware, when everything kind of like sorted out, you know, I made him aware that like the biggest fear was to lose one of you guys. And I never want to lose one of you guys. So like I was saying, I don't want any of this, any of this group to disappear. So, yeah, that's what I just want to say, uh, you know, I love you guys, and uh, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why I'm doing this. No, <laughs> we love you too, man. It's been built, it, you know what? It's, it's, been, it's been built up for too many years yeah. now, because yeah. Yeah. leaving, it's, it's not as easy as I can yeah. come and see you guys. I can't even call you guys. Yeah, but it's you know what? It's difference. It's freaking hard. What you have to understand, bro, is, bro, we all feel the same, and I think that's the beauty of this family. Family is always forever, and we're always going to, you know, even though we don't get to see each other every day, but... You know, we're always active on the on the WhatsApp yeah. group chat, and and we, except for my, you know, yeah, except for we're almost just too busy like yeah. making money and peeing yeah. that. Yeah. Like yeah. three days later. But it, it's it's yeah. it, it's nice to know that you know. Well, it's nice for the viewers to know how genuine this friendship is. This isn't just the Dario Batman crew. This is the Dario Batman family, and we'll always be family till 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 the end, man. Inshallah. Guys. Guys, in Umar's defense, he like we've not, we all know what his like internet connections like. He probably gets the messages three days later. Yeah, he, like in his defense. Yeah, Tesco yeah? internet. So it's not yeah. really his fault. Yeah. And, and Umar and, and JP, I'm gonna I'm gonna compliment you. This is the best you're gonna get from me. What the fuck? It wouldn't be the same without you. Oh, 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 oh
whatever it is, it's always undeniable best feeling. And obviously, you bringing me in um, from Dire Abandonment 2 and where it progressed and everything, the whole success and everything, however it's gone on to this limit is going to go much higher wherever you're going to go. Aww. Aww. Up and up. Big up on the speech. Yeah, that was nice. I didn't hear it to be Yeah, the internet shit. But yeah, <laughs> I just smiled. Now I appreciate that, guys. And you know what? As I said, man, look, I love you all. And I just wanted to say thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. 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 To, to, to meet you guys again Forget filming We will do definitely more projects in the future and With Badman and everything that we've got planned But well, you know, I, I just can't wait to see you tomorrow see. Yeah, um, yeah, we're going to go for a jog You know, to get rid of the titties Six feet yeah, Six feet yeah. But um, thank you so much guys For being a part of this I love you guys so much um, So thank you And I will see you all soon And remember man, family forever And this family inshallah will always be strong